This is launch control. T minus three minutes and coming. We have completed our communications checks with the Apollo 8 astronauts in the cabin and the communications are go. During this period, once we do get the firing command, the various tanks within the three stages of the Saturn V launch vehicle begin to pressurize. We have firing command. The firing command is in. We are now on the automatic sequence. T minus two minutes, 20 seconds to end coming. Our status board indicates that all aspects are ready. Instrument unit is ready. Spacecraft ready. Final check of the emergency detection system. That ready light also on. First stage preparations are completed. One minute, 45 seconds and counting. The first stage liquid oxygen tank has been pressurized and the pressure is still building up. Coming up in 90 seconds, mark T minus 90 seconds and counting. The Apollo 8 uh, crew standing by, Spacecraft Commander Frank Borman, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders. We now have a report that the liquid hydrogen tank in the third stage is pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds. All third stage propellants pressurized at this time as we come up on the 60 second mark on the flight to the moon. seconds and counting, the vehicle now is completely pressurized. We're coming up on a power transfer shortly. We have the power transfer and we're now on the flight batteries within the launch vehicle. Final reports coming from Frank Borman at this time. Final look at the switch list aboard the spacecraft. 20 seconds, all aspects. We are still low at this time. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Sequence start. The engines are on.
be a puzzle. That way, I guess, we all want to go. Now, uh, on the other side of those doors, you'll find an actual Saturn V moon rocket. It's still the most powerful, the most complex machine ever built. And I guess it's the only one that could take you to another planet. I actually got to fly one on the second flight alone called the Apollo 13. But uh, that's another story.